Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Drills. I'm back again. I'm going to be showing you basically how to turbocharge your rendering speeds when you're using cycles. Obviously EV is really quick, but the quality of the production is nowhere near as good as cycles. But we all know that cycles can take forever to load. Now, if you've got an RTX graphics card, so a NVIDIA RTX, then you can speed this process up a lot just by changing a couple of settings. So today I'm just going to run you through that and hopefully this will help you. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've set up a simple scene. As you can see, I've just set up like a Buddha statue. I've put a camera in, I've put a light in. It's pretty simple. In fact, if I just go on my f12 now because it's set to uh, ev at the moment it will just give us pretty much an instant render but obviously we want to be using cycles so i'm going to get rid of that and i'm going to come here and i'm going to actually enable cycles um now obviously if i was to press f12 now then it's gonna take its sweet time to render this image um obviously the more complex that scene you've got then it's going to take even longer but this one isn't very complex for obvious reasons i'm trying to do a how-to tutorial but obviously you can see this is taking its time so i'm going to stop that all right so next i'm going to show you what we're going to do to make that go faster so all we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and preferences and we're going to basically go under system make sure you come to system here and then up here you're going to see this now bear in mind you do need a nvidia rtx card for this to work so if you haven't got one then unfortunately this video isn't for you but for the most of us that do obviously you're going to come up here and you're going to change it to optx and you're just going to make sure that your gpu is selected there and that's pretty much it for here so we're going to come over here and we're going to change this to gpu and we're going to use open shading language and it doesn't matter so much for the viewport but with the render make sure you've got denoise on so if we select a denoise for the viewport then obviously when you move your camera around and you've got a lot of stuff in the scene it's trying to render it and it's very noisy it normally looks very static and fizzy um if you use denoise it will actually like reduce that for you um but yeah going forwards we don't actually need the max sample sort of viewport up you can turn them down if you want to you can have that like 10 if you need, want to and obviously when you do your samples here this is going to be for your actual render now if you want it to be 4k then you're going to want it 4096 you can of course drop it to 2048 and so on um but we're, for the sake of this video we're going to be using 4096 so yeah that is pretty much it now when we hit our f12 it's running through that look at that and there you go it's done literally this will change the game for your renders it will literally switch up your rendering time and you'll be done in seconds as you can see i mean if you've got a really heavy scene then it's going to take longer than it's taken for this this is a basic scene but this will change the game as far as rendering is going so yeah that is it guys i hope this video has helped you as always please don't forget to like and subscribe and also don't forget if you become a member like the guys i'm going to roll on screen now then when you go over to the discord you're going to unlock a load of super perks you're going to have free textures and objects and most importantly you're going to get support from the staff team the drills team so yeah make sure to join as a member and head over to the discord but other than that until next time this is drills over and out peace